the tree for where this antenna seems to be a little bit better. No kidding. Wow, that's impressive because I have a natural quarter wave, 16 and a half foot uh, antenna for the buddy pole, and the Alex loop is literally three feet off the ground, uh, and that's it. Vizwar is about a 1.2 to 1 natural. No tuner is being used on the KX3, so that is uh, quite impressive uh, for this antenna with no radials, anything of that sort. Over. Yeah, you also have to remember we had quite a bit of QSB today. Some of it's fairly long and, and uh, quite deep, uh, deep dips. We've had fellas go from S8 down to S3 and then back up to S8, so it, it varies and that's really uh, difficult with the uh, antennas sometimes. But no, they're both working very well as far as that goes from what I understand uh, what you have there. And they're work, both working not too bad. Roger, roger. So essentially, uh, just to confirm that, the magnetic loop, this antenna, is uh, slightly better than the first configuration. Over. Info. Go ahead with the info. Go ahead with some information. Roger, roger. This is KJ6 UTE in Northern California. That Arizona station is coming in 20 over. Copy that, Mike. Roger, roger, a jet just flew over me, so I did catch the 20 over into California. Uh, if you'd like, I would like to go back to the buddy pole for the last go around to uh, verify, over. Go ahead. Stand by, 10 seconds. NO7ON, back to the buddy pole, how copy, over. Roger, roger, 9 over versus 20 over. Outstanding. So the, the Alex loop looks like it wins here, uh, gentlemen. So just an FYI <laughs> for antenna comparison purposes. Over. Roger, roger. Yeah, the band's kind of floating in. I'm around a lot of electrical bands too, so you're sounding good. Got the neck control. Roger, neck control, neck control. I uh, certainly appreciate uh, me uh, coming in there out of the norm <laughs> but I didn't want to float around because with the Alex loop you have to sit on a frequency if I move five kilohertz I gotta retune over uh, you don't want to do that <laughs> you don't want to do that but I appreciate you getting in here I've got your call sign right there Mike and uh, so forth so actually not too bad of a signal uh, Jim in Cottage Grove Oregon had a 5.5 five. did you compare both antennas Jim? Yeah, I did, Bobby. I actually heard him better on this uh, buddy pole that he's talking about than I did the other one. He went from a five down to a three to four. Uh, and the audio actually uh, sounded a little lighter on the other antenna. Uh, I hear him better on this when he's on right now. So that's, that's, and it could be just distance from where we're at. I don't know. That help you, Mike? Roger, roger. I believe um, if that location is due east from here, the radio off of the buddy pole is aimed in that direction, and the magnetic loop is actually aimed north-south right now. If I turned it east-west, you'd probably get a better copy. Over. Yeah, okay, Mike. Well, you're a good solid 5.5 five and, and 5 and above. Um, and we're in Cottage Grove, Oregon, which is just south of Eugene. That'll give you some idea. We're 20 miles south of Eugene, Oregon. Okay, roger, roger. So yeah, the, the magnetic loop was aimed in your direction. So, matter of convenience, I mean, I think the ma magnetic loop definitely won here a little bit more. And as far as convenience is concerned with a multi-band antenna, lightweight, easy to set up, I think uh, the Helix loop took the gold here. But that's good stuff. I uh, certainly appreciate the help, gentlemen. Uh, back to you. Okay, Mike. Well, good luck with that. 